Hello today I'm gonna talk about Discover of America. Americans get a day off work on October 10th to celebrate Columbus Day. It's an annual holiday that commemorates the day on October 12, 1492, when the Italian explorer Christopher Columbus officially set foot in the Americas and claimed the land for Spain. It has been a national holiday in the United States since 1937. It is commonly said that Columbus discovered America. It would be more accurate, perhaps, to say that he introduced the Americas to Western Europe during his four voyages to the region between 1492 and 1502. It's also safe to say that he paved the way for the massive influx of Western Europeans that would ultimately form several new nations including the United States, Canada and Mexico. But to say he discovered America is a bit of a misnomer because there were plenty of people already here when he arrived. And before Columbus? So who were the people who really deserved to be called the first Americans? VOA asked Michael Bawaya, the editor of the magazine American Archaeology. He told VOA that they came here from Asia probably no later than about 15,000 years ago. They walked across the Bering Land Bridge that back in the day connected what is now the U.S. state of Alaska and Siberia. 15,000 years ago, ocean levels were much lower and the land between the continents was hundreds of kilometers wide. Columbus called all the people he met in the islands, Indians, because he was sure that he had reached the Indies. This initial encounter opened up the New World to European colonization, which would come to have a devastating impact on indigenous populations. And archaeologists say that humans followed, in a never-ending hunt for food, water and shelter. Once here, humans dispersed all across North and eventually Central and South America. And to add one fascinating wrinkle to the story of America's discover, consider the sweet potato. Yes, that's right the sweet potato. This humble pinkish-red tuber is native to South America. And yet, there have been sweet potatoes on the menu in Polynesia as far back as 1,000 years ago. So how did it get there? By comparing the DNA of Polynesian and South American sweet potatoes, scientists think it's clear that someone either brought them back to Polynesia after visiting South America, or islanders brought them from South America when they were exploring the Pacific Ocean. Either way, it suggests that about the same time Nordic sailors were cutting trees in Canada, someone in Polynesia was trying sweet potatoes from South America for the first time. That was all for today I hope you like video and subscribe goodbye.